Varus. Because right now, it's not as bad as it looks. Yes, there's a lot yeah. of range on Tropic side, so you could use all those piercing arrows to just pierce through their hearts. Uh, but uh, if you're gonna go with a PTA, you should be able to dominate that uh, early yeah. game as well. Three hits under the Nautilus, you proc the PTA, then you have all that extra damage or towards anyone. You turn onto the Senna, you turn onto the Nautilus, you do whatever the heck you want in the bottom lane. Loses that accelerated shot blast, which would actually means that his threat would be excellent oh, for wow. him. Oh wow! Engage in the bot lane. Strode is low, and I'm not sure he's gonna be able to make it out alive. One more tick, one more auto, and that's first blood for low. Then looking for a second. Denik is under the turret. Shaskew tanks it, and it's a double kill for the Varus in this early game. Yep, and Sisyf also makes it out alive with that rocket jump over the wall. An excellent not, not June, but uh, I I'm still yeah. uh, <laughs> and uh, Spooky will flash away. Yeah, a little bit of a spooky encounter. Oh, oh, and it's getting spookier as Cozy flashes over the wall, finds the E, and will he be able to find the slice and dice to the kill? That is a spooky in the grave Robocop over the wall, and that's a kill claimed by Cozy. I mean, back to the game, are not here to play, it seems. 3 and O oh, early on in the game, they actually pick up stuff all over the map, maybe far from the mid lane, they've been dominating. A kill for the Rexon, 3 assists for Shazku, who's been doing what he needs to do early in the game, and Nevarus who's been accelerated. That's an excellent start for the Ultra League Impostors. Like especially with those Faded Ashes, uh, the might as well. You collect so much more gold from the grabs when you play uh, those AP yeah. Power Farmers, because the might and... Uh, oh, oh the flash forward many! Oh my goodness, Sisyph, the disrespect in this mid lane. Many made many, um, actually not many, not at all. No, no <laughs> For some reason. Uh, but yeah, Sashku is also down in the bottom lane. He has oh, actually uh, the totem mate. Never mind. Right is not going to be down here in the bottom lane for much longer as the brand ult ticks. And the auto attack goes through. Strode oh. picks up his first kill. Will he be able to pick up a second? It is going to be Shaskew frontlining Denik. First the game of the day, right? Uh, 1 p.m. for um, some of us, 2 p.m. for others. And, you know, still early for the gamers. 3, 3 p.m. for me. Yeah, there you J go. J just flexing <laughs> at the damn future. Ooh, oh. Solar Flare does barely clip the Jason. That is a stun onto many, many, many stuns onto many, Ooh. and he will go down. A kill for Sisyph, and he finally gets one back in this mid lane. I mean, he almost got something back as well. big damage, like the uh, Bran. It uh, sounds very weird. Yeah, it's a dicey situation, as is this top Ooh. side fight, and Spooky bops an ultimate, doesn't quite get any kills, has to flash away, and the disengage comes out from Entropic. Kasante in the middle of multiple members just, just gets deleted. Lothan gets that kill. And another kill claimed back by Spooky. And Spooky situation, we're back to the game. They have to walk away. And Tropic went out in this exchange fight. Yeah, now they can collect two more grabs. I think it's going to oh. be five under the name. Never mind. Oh, Shazku comes in, gets the smite on the grubs, and that's a kill on Destrode. And Entropic thought they won the fight, but... It does end up getting claimed a little bit game. back, as we uh, reminisce about Boomer things. Uh, <laughs> there's an engage in the mid lane, Solar Flare onto Many, and he's trying to get the damage off to Sisyph, but he can't for now. Many is low, the ultimate is enough! And that's a kill for Sisyph claimed back. Uh, okay, well, yeah. okay. <laughs> so, they are still ahead. Oh, oh, there's a flash from Robocop. Yeah, that's uh, very ambitious. It might work out. I mean, Robocop still has yet to lose very much HP. Cozy, not so cozy in this lane, might be able to get... The kill sure. back though, it's a very dicey situation between these two almost top laners. Cozy waiting out the cooldowns, will be able to E away. Robocop not gonna be able to get that kill. The dragon was claimed by Shazky on the opposite side, and there is an ensuing team fight back to the game. Low, a quarter gonna burn down. That's one down for either side. Back to the game has abandoned their pig though, and that is gonna be a double kill for Spooky. Cozy has ultimate, so he tries to bait as well. Bottom and lane is going towards the tropic side. Oh, there's the ultimate. Dominus as well, yeah, Robocop, do you have a way out of this one? There is so much Fury stacked here for Cozy, I think it's gonna get dicey, the E is popped! One more E is still available, Robocop doing very well to buy space though, and potentially time out that Dominus, the Q3! Oh, oh my goodness, it no. is gonna be a kill! Yeah, claimed Tropic, do move towards that top side, trying to collapse onto that Crocodile. Doesn't look like- oh, actually find this on the Cozy, and so much damage to follow up, and that's just a dead Croc! A flash away from the Jace does mean that he will survive, but very low. Shazku trying to find some sort of re-engage. Has his team moving in. Leona's in the area. TP's coming down. Spooky on the run. Shazku cannot move, but a good solid player on the Strode means he has to pop the cleanse. Sizif trying to get to the back line. It is going to be a Kasante caught in the middle of this fight. Robocop is going to fall for the sins of Entropic. If you don't care about the soul, if you're saying, guys, we're scaling, we have double marksman, we buy a second item, and we go burn the Baron down, then it's fine. It's excellent. It's dandy. But right now, unless Entropic never moves, 
which they might never move. Oh, wow. Move. I mean, yeah, that is just going to be a dead jungler for the side of Entropic, and moving becomes very, very difficult when you are stunned by a Leona and a Sejuani. So, not sure they are going to be able to move towards this dragon, as it is already a 4v3. Renekton has TP. Still missing her Navori Quickblades, which is essential for her to keep pressuring forever, at least. Oh my goodness, Sisyph. Maybe we'll kill. Yeah, Sasuke has careful. an ultimate. Sasuke has an ultimate, and there is a TP here to boot. Crocodile in the area. Will he be able to get the W off? Yes, he will. The ult did go wide from the nice. Shazq, but it will be a kill secured. Leona flashes forward onto Spooky, Whoa. misses the Solar Flare, but got Q. the E and the Q. Will Spooky be able to walk out alive? Accord there, not going to be able to get that kill for his team. It is still going to be a flash used from the brand, so they have that going for them. But in Tropic, they may be two turrets off of that. Yep. Yeah, you, you can abandon those two turrets. You have teleport from Sisyph and uh, you oh just force a teleport from Robocop. So now you're playing for the Baron. Spooky has no flash, but still has ultimate. So a lot of damage to behold there. Oh, and uh, positioning. A corner is, a corner is nowhere spot. to be found. He can't even find a flank in time, but it is going to be an engage from back to the game and a good knock up onto multiple members coming out from the Kassan. Oh, but that is going to be a dead brand. Not much damage left here for Entropic Robocop on the run. Is low, but many. Moving Manny. in, the JSQ over the wall gets one. It's another kill claim back by the Senna. Three for Entropic. The Baron on 5,000 HP. A core there in the grave. And Denik over the wall to play frontline for this Baron means that it might be able to get secured Tropic by Entropic. JSQ, absolute disaster for this Sejuani. The Glacial Prison comes out, but there's no damage to follow up here. Entropic should be able to get out with their lives. And an absolute theft coming out from Entropic. How do you miss that flash? How do you miss that flash? It's the thinnest wall in the game. I mean, then... Cozy is not here either. Back to the game. Uh, they're a little bit late to this play. Entropic starting up that dragon, 7,000 HP now on it. And you can see they do have some reluctance. They want to maybe move back towards those lanes, but the fight is going to break out. Cozy just stunned for the entire fight. Sorry, Shasky just stunned for the entire fight. Cozy gets down onto Robocop. A lot of damage returned, and it will be one kill claimed by the side of... Oh my goodness, back to the game. Actually get one, but Entropic claim one back. So many low health bars on the side of back to the game. They're lit but yeah, Dennis Teleport is not the biggest pressure point of a Teleport. You're just getting it so you can come back to the lane earlier uh, and keep on farming as an Nautilus because you expect to be poked out uh, from the enemy team if they play their matchup correctly. Sashku, he's uh, wearing his dancing shoes. Oh, many. Very low, though. <laughs> Moves in, and Entropic have already lost one of their members. Spooky, as well, also going to fall back to the game. Actually winning two kills here. Baron spawning in a minute's time. They might be able to control the vision now. We have seen that Entropic have been a few steps ahead uh, in the vision game. Lothan is sitting on enough gold to buy that Eclipse to complete that item, but hasn't quite got the ability to reset. Back to the game, though, finding an engage, and a corner is just deleted off the back of it. That was not the engage you were looking for. Back to the game. Yeah, Everything they can to tank those abilities, but Spooky, like you said, very low. The Crocodile and the Sante, one v in that opposite side. Denik gets deleted. So he couldn't stay there and spam his spells, and now you're in an awkward position because you might oh. lose soul as well. Oven so oh, the Robocop looking for that ADC, but in the front line is a dead brand. The dragon gets claimed. Back to the game, get Mountain Soul. Cozy goes down. Robocop in the middle of three. Back to the game. Should be able to win this one out. And Tropic a has a TP in, though, but that's just a Nautilus. Your only damage dealer is Strode. Can back to the game win out. Accord there trying to play as much Strode. as he can in that front line. And Tropic actually winning out. Their front Strode. line lived for so long. It's the Hello? Strode show. Lothan is down. A triple kill. Make it a quadra. And a little bit of a standoff here, right? Denik wants to be able to find a hook. Minions. Kind of annoying for that, and Akor there wants to be able to find a Solar Flare onto a key target, maybe find an E to follow up. Such a tense situation here for these two teams. Robocop doing very well in the front line. A couple of CC abilities slightly miss Akor there, but the fight is going to break out. It's Cozy Whoa! on the back line. The Solar Flare lands on the Spooky. It's a dead Senna, and Tropic falling like flies back to the game are back in this game, and they're going to look to take a couple of neutral objectives. I mean, do you want the neutrals? The Elder has spawned, but you can also look to end the game towards mid lane. Yeah, and Tropic decided to fight. That is gonna be the game, I believe. Back to the game. Kill the Robocop. They might be able to kill Denik. No, it doesn't matter. And the Leona will back to deal with Jace. This should just be a done and dusted game here for back to the game. Taking home game one in this best of two series. What a hard fought victory. I mean, you can give that inhibitor over. You just want a quarter to stop. The ports, nothing else, nothing less. Shizif is there as well, collects the kill, teleports back. 
It's back to the game! Back in the game! Absolutely insane performance here from back to the game from the Ultra Liga representatives. Assassin and hybrid carry uh, playstyle, which is whatever you want it to be, baby. And, uh, <laughs> it's also very good into the Ezreal. I've mentioned that before. Yeah. I do respect the Zeri. It's one of Strada's strongest pick. Uh, we've seen him carry with that time and time again, and you're kind of matching the Ezreal as well in those late game team fights. See damage Not being dealt as well, but many going to be able to walk away. Not too much burst coming out from Sisyph at this stage in the game, but. Should oh, be able to even Lothan. out the lane a little bit. Ooh, Lothan into the mid lane. Will be able to get an auto and a Q. Spooky has no flash. Should just go down. And that's first blood for Sisyph here in game two. Can I ask, how's Lothan level two and still here? <laughs> he dropped so many waves in the bottom side. Still gets oh! zero. Oh, no. Double kill. Sisyph is two and O. Oh? Hey, that's what we call worth. Uh, that's what we call a disaster in, uh, in Greece. Uh, that's a wildfire and Sashki is looking for the top lane gun candle as well. He should be able to engage with the Rex oh. eye. Oh, oh no, oh no, that's that's a kill. Yeah, that's just a dead Robocop. Oh, Robocop. oh, he flashed as well. Yeah. Ew, brother, ew. <laughs> I think that's just going to be a dead accord there. Uh, we've seen this time and time again. Uh, it will just be a dead accord there. I think the kill will be donated to Strode. I'm pretty comfortable with that one. And a quarter engages, gets lightning <laughs> down. Uh, what, what, what more can you expect? That's, that's all she wrote. That's all that happens. Now the gold lead is getting very, very uh, thinned. By oh the wow! Side. There's a dive. Power dive bot. Yeah, that is just gonna be a dead Ezreal and a kill picked up by Strode. Denik not taking any damage, and I mean realistically, Strode can just walk away from this Leona. Can he? Oh, can actually, he? pop the ignite. I'm not sure if he's gonna get away, but in the mid lane, Sisyph with a good glide, oh, and that's just gonna be a solo bolo here for a gore there in the bot lane. It's always nice, such an influential stat in League of Legends uh, to be able to kite. Speaking of kiting, Robocop trying to find his way out of this, and uh, might barely have E up. Pops the W, but will just go down. Any influential play in the bottom side because they are looking right now to catch out Strode. Yeah, Strode. Bye. Oh, a good E over the wall, but it does get caught by a corner, and that's going to be a free kill picked up by Lothan. Back to the game, looking to get their way back in this one. Lothan has to be careful, Accorde. Meet all those summoners, all those spells, and try to catch out somebody. And yeah, the flashless Leona will hurt you a little bit, but it's not not too much because like this. You're not, oh, there's Dominus. No, now they cannot. I mean, we got flash from Renekton, and we got a Dominus as well, and we might even be able to find the tower dive. Shaskew still has ultimate if he needs it. Yes, he will. Gets the kill, a flash out, just to make sure that the turret didn't get the auto attack. Getting off. a second turret in the bottom lane as well. So that's more or less an even trade of resources. But Renekton doesn't give too much gold. He's 0-3-0. Oh, never mind. That's uh, Entropic's uh, win, I guess. <laughs> Does be able to is able to find the Q, might be able to find the knock up to boot, the flash away from many, the rocket jump, a corner oh, over the wall, misses the oh, solo player, oh, but that might just be a dead persona, but able to buy so much space, but not able to buy her life. Shaz Q without that, that third item completed, or that second item completed, sorry. And the dragon gets spawned by Entropic, started by Entropic, sorry, back to the game, looking for an entrance. Can't quite get vision down onto the dragon. Denik playing very well in the front line. It will get secured Ooh. by the Talia, but it is going to be cozy into the back line, tanking so much damage. Sisyph gets low and Tropic smell the Manny. blood in the water. Back to the game on the run. Ooh. A good Shreema shuffle onto Spooky. A trade of kills on that side, but back to the game, getting a few on the other side. And Tropic dying. Robocop falls. Almost back dies as well. What's happening? Yeah, I mean, Strode might start sniffing it out. Probably very well aware of how long this Baron is taking. They also see the health bars with the ward. Many just making sure Cozy actually can't TP. Oh! Up dying for it, but Strode is there and won't quite be able to secure the dragon. Sorry, the Baron. Oh my goodness. Will Leona be able to get out? No, of course there. Oh, uh, in the flash. Strode, oh, the W. Oh, this is going to be a kill back. And that's the cool. freest, uh, freest structures possible because if you do that, you might not get all three or even not even all two. Oh, scary spot here for the side of back to the game. And oh, a corner. Fight for this tier one. It's going to be cozy into the back line, not taking any damage. Robocop finds the stun, but that is still oh! alive. Cozy, that's going to be a good knock up onto the back line of Entropic. And Shazku into the back gets one kill onto Tristana, but will end up falling in the process. One member dead for Entropic, two claims back. Towards back to the game, Robocop Sisyph low, Strode has mate. to walk away, Spooky looking for something, gets the stun onto Sisyph! It's a counter engage coming out from McCorder, and that's gonna be a low, Spooky, but a dead Leona! 
and Entropic somehow win out in this team fight. You will reach him. He will try and actually connect to the Jax, but can they spend so much time to get that one kill? I don't know, and Cozy might even be able to turn here on Destroy. No, just gonna opt to walk away. Robocop is in the area. There's no real way out here for the Jax, and Denik doing very well to keep him away from that ADC. Strode should live. This kill should go over, and Cozy will get claimed by Strode. But now, uh, the only real tank is gonna be Robocop now. Pops Dominus, a flash forward from a corridor, doesn't find anything for now. He's just HP. fishing are these two teams. They both have CC abilities still left in the bag. Who will claim the dragon? It will be Spooky. But Entropic have to try and get out with their lives. Back to the game. Want to fight this one. Robocop is low. Accordair is low. Will go down to Spooky. Denik flashes over the wall. Oh. A good disengage, but a good stream. A shot Strode? for the Robocop. So much damage from Strode in this fight. Pops the ultimate. It's a Zeri moment. Gets a couple of kills. Cozy is low, but it's Strode versus the world. What can he get done? Is he going to go over the wall to chase? Oh. Yes, he will. He almost kills Cozy. A good kiting, good spacing. Strode oh. is massive. Gets two. Game and it will be contested. Oh. The player lands onto Spooky. A good engage from the Leona, but a core there has no one there to follow up. Will go down. Denik. Keeping Lothan off of his team for now, and Tropic just need to kite back. Shazku can't quite find the damage onto Spooky. Pops the stasis, but will go down. And back to the game. Claim one for their efforts. And then Tropic are just on the run. Need to be careful. Many can't overstep here. You have to keep your Zeri alive as well. And looks like Entropic don't really want any of this smoke, but it will be Lothan going down to many. I think that E will claim that kill. And Entropic yes. still winning out. Such a long drawn out fight. Robocop trying to get away, taking a lot of damage in the process. Denik doing whatever he can to get the enemy team off of his back, but will go down. And Robocop, will he be able to get away? Oh! No, he will not. A good Q from the Shaz Q. And back to the game, managed to claim a few off the back of that fight. However, look at what Entropic is doing here. Burning midwave, they're burning a boat wave. Man, he just teleport oh there. Oh. oh my god, that means no Baron! Like that means. Kill. Then he has to back away. Shaz Q actually moving so quickly to try and catch this. Tristana finds the Q. And Strode, oh. I mean, this guy does so much damage, but can you live through all of this CC? Many will go down, and Strode had to leave his mid laner for the wayside. Will back away, but that Baron is still up. Right. His boots, doors, the, uh, what's it called? The Zephyr, Zephyr, yeah. Zephyr, Zephyr yep. But there's another attempt for the Baron. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Accordair once again into the enemy back lines. We'll just get deleted, tossed into the blender of Entropic, and that will be your support dead for back to the game again. Oh, Baron. Baron. <laughs> but that's the name of the series. Greeting Baron, they got. Uh, oh, the Jax. Yeah, that's just. Oh, okay, Cozy. A good flash over the wall, finds the Q, has the Seraph's gauge, but will go down. Now you can get two the Baron. members down. Yeah, that should be free Baron here for Entropic. But Entropic are still playing the slow game. The Baron will expire, and the inhibitor line are, is still there, standing. Wow, Spooky. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, really, uh, Spooky engaged there for back to the game. But Denik is kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. Very no man's land, and will go down. Back to the game. This is how they won the last one. Just one random pick. They can smell the ability to win the game. Robocop will fall. And back to the game. What can they get with this? There's no objectives up. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to look for any turrets either, but back to the game. They smell the blood in the water. They're still very much in this one. Neither team having the Dragon soul spawned. Cloud Soul for whichever team chooses to claim it. Spooky over the wall. Maybe going to look for a steal. You can see who's going to get the smite. Oh. It's going to go the way of Shaz Q. Back to the game. Are very low though. Accord there is low. Robocop in the middle of three members. Loath and free hitting on the opposite side. You have the Strode show. What can Strode. he get done? He's into the back line. And it's a triple kill for Strode. Cozy falls as well. Make it four kills for Entropic. And they're looking to even out the score. Oh, he's looking for the pent as well. He's very close. Has no flash. One slow should do the trick, but it's a very, very fast Frexi. Doesn't look that willing to give out the pentakill, but they will give the game as Strode finds the angle, finds the quadra, and most likely finds another tie for Entropic. Strode, oh my goodness. This guy put his team on his back and carried them across the finish. All roads lead to Strode, and uh, Shaz trying the to... Trying to get, get whatever he can get done, but I mean, no, it wasn't a penta because Trisana stole it, sadly. So it was just four kills, but an ace nonetheless. Uh. And then Tropic walk away, still undefeated in any of their seasons so far. A 40-minute banger went all the ways you can possibly imagine.